Hey everyone, how are you going? Well, today's video uh, is a little bit different, so uh, I actually washed the car that you're about to see last week. So um, when reviewing the video last night, the actual intro uh, looks like either myself or my son have deleted it. So anyway, what we'll do is uh, we'll just give you a little intro into what's actually happening uh, with the car and why we're, we're doing it this way. So. Uh, yesterday as well, I actually washed it, which was a, a week later, so after a week of um, being driven around. Uh, gave it a nice wash and uh, cleaned the interior, etc. But what you're about to see is the process of what I do for uh, washing the fair lane, which is slightly different to my GT. Here's what we started from, which is the wheels, so unfortunately there's a little bit of um, prep uh, involved in that beforehand. So once I got through that, uh, then I went into washing techniques and spraying and different things like that. So anyway, thanks very much for watching and we'll get straight into the video. is clean the tailpipes with the same water and equipment that I'm using on the wheels as you can see this car blows a little bit of smoke but you don't want to get that on your paintwork so just keep it clean and it'll be nice and easy to remove any gunk that builds up after a week or two off a snow foam Just let it dwell for a few minutes and then we'll power wash it off and then we'll refoam it before we do a hand wash. I can do a hand wash. This gives a little bit extra lubrication. You don't use all that much more, but the more lubrication you put on your paint, the easier it is to wash. Right, mechanical hand wash time. Start at the top, work your way around the car, doing my motion. Really 
fairly smooth still, so wax seems to have held up pretty good. Using straight strokes as well, don't go in circles when you're washing the car. Because if you get a little bit of grit or something caught in here, Going around in circles, it's going to be a lot harder to get the, the marks out than what it is for straight lines. Just give it a wash. Really smooth, even though the paint is terrible, uh, it's still got a nice coating. I've got a grit guard in the bottom of there, so wash it on the bottom of the grit guard, gets any of the dirt that's in there out. And now that I've done the top, I'll start at the sides and work my way around. These are the techniques that I've picked up over the years uh, that causes the least amount of damage. So try and do below here, try and do that last when you're doing a panel. That way anything that is on there, any mud, you're not transferring it up onto here. Give it a wash again. Start on the bottom. Back. Before we move on to the next panel, give it a wash. Now you notice I'm only using one bucket uh, because I've snow foamed it twice. You don't need a heads bucket. I do this on our other good cars and it comes out with a really good result. Okay, it's now been hand washed. We're going to give it a quick blow over and have a look at the water activity. the rest of the car in a moment but you can see that it's beating quite well uh, there is some sheeting but I think a lot of this is comes down to the fact that the paint is actually really really bad which is why I'm going to scrap coat it later in the year before winter so anyway we'll keep washing the last video this whole area was ceramic coated uh, you can see the activity is a lot better here 
which is why we'll be doing ceramic coat later in the year. Still pretty good on the boot. Um, the roof isn't too bad at all. So keep going. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Actually, not too. Yeah, I'm not too fussed about it. I think it looks pretty good. It's held up pretty good. Um, so once we dry it off, we'll see what it looks like after that. Same sort of activity again. Remembering this paint is really old. I haven't done this part yet. Alright, so once again, lots of beading, very good result. Now it's time for drying. So we're using a microfiber drying towel. I'm going to go over it, and uh, once we've completely dried it, we'll then go over it with another dry microfiber and a blower and just get out all the edges and trims and things like that. There's a lot of standing water on there, so cloth will fill up pretty quickly. Nice when you're wiping over, it's drying pretty good. It's the help of the wind either. <laughs> anyway, I'll go around the rest of the car continue to wipe it off and then we'll come back and show you what I do with the blower. Okay, now that the car is dry, I'm going to go around with the blower. It's just a, a leaf blower. I'll blow out through all of the gaps and also through all the trims. I'll show you what it does. Just releases water like that from underneath the trims that don't normally get picked up. And then after that, I'll do the wheels and tires. And then if it needs it, I'll give it a wipe down with a rapid detailer. Okay, so report card on the on the wax. I really like uh, how it's kept it shine. The water beading was really good. I know that whilst the rain was on it, it was good water beading. Very impressed with it, and um, yeah, I'll continue to use it. Uh, now the wheels. Now we used a different wax on the wheels. Whilst it kept them pretty clean, I wasn't really impressed with the water activity afterwards. So I don't know why it's been all right in the past, but this application for some reason hasn't worked too well. As you can see through here, but this is really shiny. Uh, that's good proper ceramic coat. And uh, yeah, in a couple of months time, before winter, we'll go ahead and coat the whole car. So. Anyway, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, please leave comments and let me know what you think. I really appreciate the feedback. So, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.